Hi, it's Ed Butowski. And now that we have the third quarter over with and we're starting to get reports on earnings and economic data, it's really important to understand a certain number of things. And that is the GDP number, which measures the growth of the economy. The first quarter, it was down one and a half percent. The second quarter was down 0.6 percent, which technically put us into a recession. And they just announced numbers today that came out to be a growth of 2.6 percent. But there's some things that you need to know. And there's something that is calculated into the GDP called the gross domestic product deflator, the price deflator. And this is, gets really kind of wonky, but I want to share with you what this is because it's very important that you look at 2022 and you come down here, and this is out of the Bureau Economic Analysis Policy uh, report and you see down here the price deflator so I'm going to blow this up and you can see that in the first quarter it was at 8.4 percent then the second quarter was at 9.1 now this is what the government is able to put in to make it so you neutralizing the inflation so you can actually see the real growth of the economy so what they're doing here is putting in the number of what prices have increased and if that number is lower then it shows that the economy grew faster well this is where the manipulation begins because who believes and no data supports this that the price deflator or the economy or the cpi or inflation only grew at 4.1 percent nobody believes that but by putting in a low number that gdp number is actually significantly higher so if you actually put in a number that is relevant which is probably about eight and a half to nine percent you would have seen a negative gdp number but this is proof that the numbers are played with and manipulated but right now what you see are headlines over and over about how the economy grew at 2.6 percent and we're not in a recession anymore but i assure you this is the reason that you're seeing that uh, the price of uh, the excuse me the inflation number is much much higher than what is registered here and why they use this is simply to make it so the the gdp number would be higher I just wanted to point that out to you because it really drives me crazy with this type of manipulation and people just accept this stuff on face value because most people don't understand what to be looking at but you do because i pointed it out to you so just wanted to let you know that you know we do want the economy to grow we want everyone to prosper but we have higher interest rates coming to slow inflation down and inflation is not at 4.1 percent uh, as indicated here, inflation is significantly higher than that. And that's one of the reasons why, um, you know, I put these videos out to point things like this out to you. Take care.